So your brother, we'll, we'll, we'll revisit your brother, how you met. So you decide you're going to go actually in harm's way to, you're going to join the resistance. My first question is, did you have any, uh, what, what was your feelings, your gut reaction to knowing that you might be killed or killed? Or were you thinking about that? My dear, you do not have time to think. Because if you start to think, you do nothing. You just have to, to do. To do. So I took a train. I say, where we are in Provence, nothing will happen. It was in the mountain, you know, the, the pilgrimage was in the mountain. I said, the Germans will never come here. We will never fight the Germans. So I'm going to go somewhere else. You had to go where the action was, where yeah. the Germans were. Yeah. So my parents, I rented a small house in a small village just at the limit of the France, occupied France and free France. Uh, no, no more free at that time, but to locate if you want the thing. So it was on the river Le Cher, which was the border. So I said, that's where I should go because that's where the Germans eventually will pass. Or will, and so I, they had rented that house for my grandmother because it was impossible to live in Paris. Hey, in Paris, you had uh, uh, two pounds of green beans for the months, mm. and you had a uh, small soap, very small soap, uh, for the months. Subsistence so, living, <laughs> it was bad. On. So they sent my grandmother, and they knew the priest who was the, the, the curé of the, the, that place, the priest of that place. So he rented for her that soul I was. So I said, it's where I must go, because eventually the, I will see the German over there. And it's what I did. 